hello so let's welcome to all of you in the tag bsp channel so today we will learn about the process of how to work uh, like what is the adi what are the main responsibility and roles and how, what are the like uh, transmission for the adi like in the media first we start from the adi like on data interchange refer to the structure <clears throat> transmission uh, data of the between the organization from one organization to another organization okay only adi will use work for the sending the files from one company to another company it is the exchange trans transcript uh, from one company to another company it's with the without the paperwork okay the national institute of the standard and technology in 1996 published define electronic data interchange as the computer to computer interchange of strictly formatted messages that represent document other than a monetary instrument adi can be transmitted using any methodology agreed by the sender and receiver okay the includes uh, this includes the variety of the technology for the transmissions including the modem like asynchronous and bisynchronous and ftp emails http as1 as2 etc so these are the uh, transmission protocols which can be used for sending the file via through the internet for the one vendor to another okay and how we can use uh, suppose there is the two picture are able to see you can uh, of the above one picture were there for the electronic file okay from one computer to another computer this file is going to be uh, electronically okay when without edi how we can see this is the without edi okay this is the paperwork if suppose the computer is not working for sending the file of the edi electronic data interchange then we need to just create and uh, work on make it uh, like paperwork okay it is the most paperwork and paperwork can send paper one document to another company okay so this is the most mm, irritating work and like this work can be mm, take most time con time uh, okay so that's why for removing the time consuming uh, the adi technology will come across the world and most of the company are using this adi technology okay standardized format like this is the standardized form which you can see Uh, from one computer data to from another computer data from one trade partner to another trade partner we can send the information like in the standardized format there is another format which is called the transaction set this might be multiple transactions that are working in the industry as of now okay like 834 837 997 2, 270 850 810 860 these etc there is multiple transactions that are available and working in the various industry for the edi work okay and if you are just mm, talking about the working of the edi like how we can work what are the mm, several like mm, companies are using so of the so, so we will start the exchange of the data with the several trading partner directly in a standard format what is the standard format in the standard format is the format in which we can like there is a two format one is a custom format and another is a, a transaction set format okay for the transaction set format there is a uh, like tool opt out so that we can check the hipaa uh, compliance and there is no any hipaa error are there so these are standard format are available multiple segment are using from the multiple companies okay iteration with the multiple companies through a, a center central information clearing house this is the tool for using the mapping and many companies are using a different tool like the ibm sterling are using an, another company and and most of the company are using different tools okay their own tools so most so this is the like clearing house this is used for the edi mapping and here is, each companies add the edi program to its computer to translate the company data um, to standard format for transmission and reserve and and reverse translation in the data working of the edi account account uh, continues kya hai you can see like manufacturers from one to many okay manufacturer what the basically work and what he does uh, manufacturer is a way like from one to many this is the one manufacturing was starting from here and supplying to the multiple suppliers okay first supply second and third so these are multiple companies are taking suppliers from the one manufacturing okay and what is the reverse way synchronous way as well as synchronous for manufacturer to it's come the data from third party vendor and third party vendor can complete the work after the send of electronic file to the suppliers so this is the format forking of the count okay so the edi business cycle what is the edi business cycle you can see there is a multiple companies are there okay so what they does 
Note document they, they provide the document images, letters, purchase orders, invoice queries, order entities, shipment details, payment order as well. Okay, bankers advice, miscellaneous claims as well. So multiple. Mm, document multiple types of uh, format are, are there so they provide the uh, format and document to the ADI service network and they can check the document after then they can uh, work on the designation work on the um, like uh, for starting the work on the ADI files and ADI destinations goes to the vendor and ADI destinations goes to the customer and other ADI destination goes to the branch office and another destination goes to the distributor and EDI destination goes to the stores as well. Okay, EDI destination goes to the bank also its use. Okay, and for last is the transporters. Okay, so these are the multiple um, industries which, which use for the EDI network services. Okay, and processing of the EDI message, like how we can process the EDI message and what is the process. Okay, external user interface, what we start like this will start from the applications. And once the application mm, we have use after then we can translation of the services like for the EDI's format are there okay and EDI services included in that okay it will start from the EDI service network okay what can do mm, first from the external user interface receive the application all this information network access usually the remote access okay we can work after then we can start it the vice versa as well it can start with network access control and working with the EDI services or translating the services and working on the applications after then we can send the uh, completion of the files of the completion of the EDI message to the external user from to the client or vendor as well okay if we are talking about the benefit of the EDI so there's the multiple benefit are available in the market okay and we most of the industry are using their multiple software applications for working on the edi technologies okay and for working on the edi files as well so for the generation of a paper document from on a form by the software applications okay delivery of few copies of document to the to the internal de department uh, to be filled uh, filled and others to trade partners via the postal services okay uh, most of the delivery field copy they copies the documents and after then we can they can send the department to be filled for the trading partner which is called a trading partner questionnaire form as well okay so this need to be required for uh, for every trading partner to for uh, their compliance and for the their privacy as well okay for retyping the document services by the trading partner on the form of form into their computers which may offer intro intro introduce errors okay some of the retyping document might, might be received okay from the trading partner can mm, use or form their computers which may offer the introduce error some some of the time it might be get an error okay generation of a paper acknowledgement and sending it to the originating company okay they can generate the papers acknowledgement like this file has been received and this is the document we has we are sending it to the original company okay so this information is easy and this is the more less of the paperwork it's very useful using for the edi technology and generation on a file come containing the process document by the applications program okay there's a multiple application program which working on the edi services and edi format is formats okay for building the files building the information of the employees okay whatever they required on the documents as per the client requirement or client requested and another thing is the benefit of the edi account conversion of the uh, document into agreement standard format like agreed standard format another standard format that everyone knows like if we are working on the EDI or looking for a job in the EDI, like there is a multiple another form which is called NCX12. Okay, this is the NCX12 standard format which generally used in the EDI industries. Okay, and uh, electronic transmission of the file mm, containing the document over the network. Okay, mm, which may link the original company to that uh, and its trading partner. Yeah, every company use the document through the internet and through the network with the from the links from the one company to another company which is called a training partners as well okay everyone i think got about this uh, automatic generation of the receipt and its delivery over the network to the originating company okay once the once the file has been sent and generated and come send the file to the another company or sorry vendor 
then there is a received will create and will get that delivery of the file of the network on the network is successfully loaded and company will get the original receipt of the file like file is loaded and received successfully sent to the receiver and receiver has received this file so this is the acknowledgement of the receive received from get from the uh, receiver to sender okay so sender can and confirm like this file is successfully completed or sent to the receiver and another is the features of edi like there's a multiple features are available for the edis exchange of the in, in, structured uh, business information in a standard format between uh, computers it has reduced data entries link eliminates the needs of for the paper based system and improve the business cycle okay edi transfer edi transfer in the structure business document internally amongst group of departments or externally externally with its suppliers customer and subsidiaries okay in edi information transferred over a network will not have to read retyped or printed but must have predefined structure agreed but between the two companies which send and receive data okay one company is for sending the data and one other company is for the receiving the data which is called the trading partner or risk vendor or client as well okay another is the two companies or group which uh, exchange information through edi are called trading partner trading partner what can do trading partner can do the information and exchange the document from one trading partner to another trading partner which is might be a group or a company as well okay component of the edi is uh, there are the three components are available for the edi first the application service second is the a translation service and third is one is a third and last one is the communication service okay in the application service we work on the software system like for the applications and translation service this can uh, interpret and transfer the data from mm, raw data to the uh, in the standard format data okay and communication service we can communicate to the client via the email through the uh, link like through the uh, call as well link central okay these are the things you know, which we can understand for the components okay and component of EDI accounts. So this is the procedure which make start from transmission service. Okay, and this will be the vice versa. Business applications can uh, receive it and send the application services. After that, application service can also can receive and send the transmission services. And communication service uh, also can receive and transmission uh, send the information. After that, we can get that document from the trading partner, and we after that we can send the file to the trading partner as well. So these are the applications mm, format. So we need to work and the procedure of the component or the EDI. Okay, and this is the flow. Uh, file types. Okay, how many types of files we generally use? EDI creates the following mm, files a document pass through the system. Internal format file, which is called IFF, it contains a single document for mm, single trading partners as well. Most of the trading partners use the IFF file. External format, which contains the same data as the internal format. File translated, file translated into the appropriate standard document format. And third one is the transmission file, which is very important. Which is what is the transmission file? It contains one or more document for the mm, same trading partner document of some same format are packed into an functional group the functional group going to one partner one trading partner are packaged into an interchange set an interchange set an interchange set contain one or more function group of a document with the same sender and receiver as well so these are the file types we will generally use and EDI software there's a multiple software available every company use their own software like there's a clearing house software for doing the mapping and for the ban and benefit admission application as well and clearing house software and the ibm sterling so, so the multiple software are available in the industry for using the adi life cycle and working flow of them okay so you did software like first is the translator this is used for the translating the data of from simple format to another format, like which is standard format. Okay, every day sender and receiver should have EDI translator. It varies uh, based on the computer on which is going to reside. The computer may be a micro computer or a mid range or a mainframe translator re reads the fixed length of files and generate very DDI standard standard and maintains control information 
application link software there are the two components of the software